there are other reactions very similar to this one of the reaction let me not name this let's study this and we'll see that there's nothing new in this reaction and at the end we'll see what this reaction is called if i start with benzaldehyde once again and if i take malonic ester look this is malonic acid this is malonic acid and if you carry out esterification of this with suppose acetic acid then the ester would become like this this is called malonic ester fine so on this if we add malonic ester this is same as this all right if we add malonic ester and uh, of course we'll take a base along with this then something happens and we have to quickly start predicting what happens the best thing is the best thing you can do to yourself is to write the mechanism on your own and see what you are getting you you do it in one step you add you you add a base as as you take this along with a base in step number 1 in step number 2 you heat this and you see what you are getting you are adding base the first thing is as we saw in the last case in the in the last reaction perkins condensation base abstracted a hydrogen from this position there you had a anhydride here you also have the scope of resonance with c double bond o on both the sides so this is more acidic than the last last hydrogen in the last reaction fine so base the first step would be base comes and abstracts a hydrogen from here there's no other possibility base base wants h plus there is no h plus here so the first reaction is going to occur at, at in malonic ester so that's the first step fine so you you, you start from malonic ester so uh, negative charge on carbon is going to develop and you tell me what this negative charge is going to do this negative charge will go and attack c double bond o that's very obvious natural intuitive for you now we have seen this in many reactions before so this negative charge is going to attack this c double bond o of benzaldehyde right so here it is this negative charge came all the way to attack c double bond o so when that happens what do we have all right so this is what you get now if we hydrolyze this if we hydrolyze this then this is ester when we hydrolyze ester ester is going to break into carboxylic acid and the corresponding alcohol from which it was formed fine so this ester alcohol is going to come out ethanol is going to come out from both the esters and for both the ester we going to have a carboxylic acid intact in our sub in our this particular intermediate so after hydrolysis what we are going to get is first of this will be neutralized this o minus will become oh and here we are going to have acid ethanol will come out but i'm not writing that i'm not concerned with that this is what is my major organic product i'm looking for so this is what it is now you also added heat so if we add heat along with this so when as soon as this carboxylic acid is formed one thing will happen suppose i heat this suppose i tell you nothing i'm adding heat to this fine what will happen now look think of a reaction that we have studied in which we added heat perhaps when you add heat that was for condensation in aldol condensation even you added heat that was in the last reaction as well in perkins condensation water comes out 
But there are also other reactions in which we added heat, like beta keto ester, beta keto acid decarboxylation. In that reaction, when we added heat, CO2 came out. So what happened was, we had keto at the beta position. Fine, suppose there's a R here and this CO2 went away in the form of carb carbon dioxide gas. So in case of beta keto acid, decarboxylation occurred. Now similarly, if we if, if, if we have carboxylic acid at beta position to each other, suppose we have malonic acid. Suppose this is malonic acid. This is malonic acid. You don't need to suppose it. It is malonic acid. Now, suppose I'm hiding this. Now, this seems to be similar to this. This is a beta keto acid. Now, if I ha hide this OH, then it seems to be beta keto acid. Now, as the mechanism was for decarboxylation of beta keto acid, we have seen this reaction in the chapter of, in, 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 in method of preparation of ketone. So we have seen the mechanism how it occurs. The mechanism would be exactly the same as it is for the beta keto acid even if you have an acidic group at beta position because this C double bond O will be involved as this C double bond O is involved. Now this is experimentally verified. So the mechanism is exactly the same as it is in case of beta keto acid even if you have an acidic group at beta position. Right? This OH does not participate. Now similarly we have this acid here. This is acid, this is alpha carbon, and this is beta position. At beta position, this is something like malonic acid, right? It's like it, It's like malonic acid because indeed it's coming from malonic acid because in this reaction, we took malonic acid in the beginning. So when you heat this, one of the acid is going to go away. One of the acid is going to give its C double bond O for this keto kind of group. And this CO2 is going to go away as carbon dioxide gas, fine? So when you heat this, you're going to be left out with one carboxylic acid. The other is going to go in the form of CO2 gas. Fine. So this is what you're left when you heat it. So now it's again beta hydroxy carboxylic acid as you got it in the last case of Perkins con condensation. Now, because you have applied heat, so it, the reaction will not stop at this stage because there's a hydrogen and hydroxy group adjacent to each other. So if you're providing heat, they will also come out. So the final product that you will have is again cinnamic acid. Fine. Now, this reaction has a name and the name is no. Vinegal reaction. Fine. You don't have to remember the name, but if you remember, it's better. Or you, what's happening all around here, you have to understand that. And because it's, it's, it's the kind of thing that's happening. We have seen it in many reactions before. So it won't be a heck for you to even Right, no, to get to the final product, even if you know, not know the name of the reaction. So these are not name reactions. As such, no one is going to ask you what is the final, what will be the product of no vinegar reaction. They're always, they will always give you a substrate and the reagent. And if you understand the basics, you will always get to the final product. And this is something like that. So it's, it's kind of practice for you. No vinegar reaction. If I give you malonic ester, if I give you benzaldehyde and a base and I don't tell you later at this stage I'll be giving heat, then you can start and go. you can go step by step and you can apply all the things that we have studied. So it is a kind of practice for you based for the reaction that we have studied before. So you should at least work the whole mechanism at least once on your own and get to the final product of cinnamic acid. 
that will concretize the whole concept that you have been studying fine so you should work the mechanism at least once a third one in this reactions which i am saying as trivial is reformatsky reaction <laughs> 